So you're thinking of moving to Edmond, Oklahoma, and you're specifically looking at the Castleberry neighborhood. My name is Kinsley Hauser, and I'm a local real estate agent in Edmond, Oklahoma and its surrounding areas. Whether you're looking to move in 10 days or 10 months, I would love to be able to help you make a smooth move to Oklahoma. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can give me a call, text, email. You can send me a DM on social media. You can schedule a Google Meet. There's lots of ways that you can get into contact with me so that we can start working together to help you make your move. I love getting to work with people every single day, just like you and you and you and you find your dream homes. So without further ado, let's get started talking about the Castleberry neighborhood. Castleberry is a neighborhood on the western side of Edmond, just north of 192nd or Danforth, and just east of May. Castleberry is a slightly smaller neighborhood compared to some of the other ones that I've been talking about in this series. When you look at Castleberry compared to The Grove or compared to Valencia, there are definitely not nearly as many houses. However, the yard sizes are going to be pretty comparable because as you look at Castleberry and you look at the block within which it sits, you'll notice that there are a lot of neighborhoods kind of within that block. So within the block from May to Penn and then from 192nd to 206, you have Castleberry, you have Skylar's Court, you have Woodwind, you have La Sonata, you have Hawthorne Place. So there are a lot of neighborhoods that kind of sit within that block. Castleberry is going to be on the very far west side of that block. Within this neighborhood, there are kind of some natural sections, if you will. They're not necessarily sectioned off by signs or anything, but as you drive into the neighborhood, you'll kind of notice that you have homes right at the front of the neighborhood off of 192nd that kind of line those first few streets. And then as you drive through the neighborhood and you kind of get towards like the pool and the clubhouse, you'll see kind of the back section of the neighborhood. If you take a right kind of past those, you'll also notice that there are some homes that are a part of Castleberry that kind of start to blend in with some of the other neighborhoods. So you kind of have some natural sections. And as you drive through and as I insert some clips later in this video, you'll be able to see kind of some of the different sections just depending on where you are driving in the neighborhood. Castleberry has a wide range of homes, anywhere from the 200s to $400,000 range. Most of the homes, kind of the average is gonna be in that 300,000, but you do have those outliers kind of on the smaller end, kind of in those mid to high 200s, and then you do have some of those kind of in the 400, low to mid 400 range. Those homes that are in the 200s are going to be smaller in square foot, obviously, so maybe around the 1100 square foot mark. And then the larger homes are going to be anywhere from 2,500 plus square feet. For the amenities in this neighborhood, there is a pool, there is a playground, there's a gym. And I really like how the neighborhood has it set up because it's all really close to one another. So if you're looking kind of at the amenities, you'll see playground, gym or clubhouse and then pool. So it's all kind of relatively close. Every time I go by, it always looks very well maintained and it looks like you know, they do a good job of keeping up with kind of the landscaping of the different amenities. For the schools, Castleberry is located in Deer Creek Schools. Now, if you are to drive even within the same block, but as you start driving into the other neighborhoods, you're gonna notice that they are no longer Deer Creek Schools, but Castleberry is in Deer Creek Schools. Castleberry, like very many of the other neighborhoods that I've talked about kind of in my neighborhood series, is very close to a lot of things. You are a little more north than let's say, Valencia or the Grove. However, still very, very close to lots of restaurants, to shopping, to grocery, to a lot of the new development that's taking place. Also, because the neighborhood isn't huge, you're pretty relatively close to the amenities. So I would say really no matter where you live, you could walk to the amenities. Now, if it's a hot day and you don't feel like sweating and going for a long walk, then you might would drive. There is parking over at the amenities, but I would say for the most part, you can walk to the clubhouse, to the pool, and to the playground. It is close to 178th in May and 178th in Portland where they have all the new development coming where you have the Chick-fil-A, the new medical, where you have that Qdoba and Jack B and Starbucks. You're only within about probably less than five minutes from all of that development that's taking place. And since it is in Deer Creek schools, you are pretty relatively close to the schools that you're zoned for. So the middle, high school, elementary, all of those are going to be pretty relatively close and centrally located from where Castleberry is located. It really shouldn't take you longer than I would say 10 minutes to get to any of the Deer Creek schools from Castleberry. Now with every neighborhood, I like to give you some pros and cons because there are 
reasons why a lot of people are moving to these neighborhoods, but there's also reasons why it may not be the neighborhood for you. So some of the pros of Castleberry is the proximity, like I was just talking about. I mean, within five minutes of gyms, getting your nails done, shopping, food, it's just really close to a lot of things. Also the affordability. There are brand new homes being sold in the mid 200s. This isn't totally unheard of, but it's not super common to find those in Edmond. So to find a brand new home in the $200,000 range, I think really gives a pro to this neighborhood and just shows the affordability that it offers. To me, I think the neighborhood looks very cohesive. They kind of have a similar look, not to say that they necessarily, you know, every house looks the same. Definitely there are sections that you know, if it's a row of houses that are within that 1100 square foot range, I would say a lot of those houses look pretty similar, but I really am talking more about the cohesive look. There is one builder in this neighborhood. It's a home creations neighborhood. So I think that they all just keep with a very similar cohesive look, which to me is a pro. Again, the amenities I think is a really big pro of this neighborhood. To have the pool, the playground, the gym, and really because the neighborhood is a little bit smaller, I don't feel like for the most part, they're not gonna to be totally overly populated. They're pretty kind of moderate in the people that are going as far as numbers. Another pro is that it is Oklahoma City Utilities. As you kind of are on this part of town, you're gonna really fall into that Oklahoma City Utilities, which are going to be cheaper than let's say Edmond Utilities. So if you live kind of on that Western side and you fall into those neighborhoods that are in Oklahoma City Utilities, you're gonna have og &E for your electric, you're gonna have ONG for your gas, you're gonna have just like the Oklahoma City trash and water. And these tend to be a little more inexpensive than let's say the Edmond utilities. Another pro is that this is a little bit of a smaller neighborhood. So there's not gonna be thousands of homes that fall under this neighborhood of Castleberry. It's as far as you know number of homes, it's gonna be slightly smaller than some of the other homes I've talked about in this series. Now some cons of this neighborhood is that for the most part, they're pretty close together. And you'll find that in a lot of the neighborhoods in this area, they're gonna be pretty close together. They have built a lot of homes and they have put them relatively close. Now, as always, some of the lots are gonna be slightly bigger than others, but for the most part, they're pretty close together and your lots are gonna be pretty small. Another con to me of this neighborhood, and I mentioned it earlier, is that Castleberry doesn't make up its own block. So within you know, that block that Castleberry's in, you also have other neighborhoods. Like I said earlier, you have Skylar's Court, Woodwind, all, all the others. And so sometimes I think this brings some traffic through Castleberry as people are getting to their neighborhood. I wouldn't say this is necessarily would be a deal breaker for me, but just as you're looking at it, that is something to kind of think about. And my last thing, which this could maybe be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it, this is a home creations neighborhood. So all of the homes within Castleberry are built by home creations. So again, if you love home creations, this is probably a pro for you. But if you are looking maybe for a different builder, then you're gonna need to look into a different neighborhood. As I end this video, I wanna insert some footage just of me driving through Castleberry to kind of give you a better feel for what it's like to drive through, what it's like to see some of the amenities and just to give you kind of an overall better feel for the neighborhood. So many people are moving to Edmond from out of town and it's hard for them to always be able to picture what the neighborhood looks like, what it's like to drive up and down the streets. And so as you're looking at this footage, I hope it's just helpful to give you a better idea. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you are subscribed so that you're the first to know about everything that's going on in Edmond. And again, if you are thinking about moving, not even committed, but if it's just kind of on your radar and you want to kind of chat and talk more about your move and what you're looking for, and if that's realistic, definitely feel free to reach out to me. And if you are kind of getting in that crunch time of, oh, we need to start looking and moving quickly, then reach out to me as well. I love being able to work with people, whether we get to chat and look at homes for months or whether it's just within a few days. So do not hesitate to reach out to me, no matter your situation and I'd love to be able to help you on your move to Oklahoma. I hope this video was helpful and that it provided you with value and I will catch you in my next video.